while I do this because I can't seem to find any actual downtime to make videos. So this won't be very long, but I have a whole bunch of questions of what is penny shopping? How do you penny shop? Show me all the things, right? Okay, so all of these items here that I have um, in the picture are just some things I grabbed, some of the stuff that I found in the last couple of weeks, some baby slippers, um, a horse piggy bank, some Zatarain's rice, uh, some albums, some picture frames. I have tons of toys. I just grabbed a couple of them just so I can show you. Um, I'm going to have my daughter bring her phone out here. I'm going to show you guys how to scan the penny items. So this only works at Dollar General stores. Um, you are going to need the Dollar General app. And you can get that in Play Store or um, the App Store, no matter if it's an iPhone or an Android. So within that app, each, each week there's a list that's put out um, for Dollar General employees uh, that tells them what items have pennied. The reason they have items that have that penny are because they've gone out of season <coughs> or they're going, you know, they're just taking them off of the shelves for whatever the reason is. Whether, you know, like summer stuff is going out of season because fall is happening or fall stuff because winter is happening or food items. I guess I don't know what the reasons are. The only exception to this is if there is a food item that has expired or if there is an item that has been recalled, they do not have to sell you those items. I mean, for safety purposes, for your safety and for their legal safety. So if, if they have food items that you scan um, that is expired, they do not have to sell you that for a penny. However, um, it is in their handbook, in their Dollar General corporate handbook that they are to sell penny items for a penny if a customer finds them. So how this happens is the Dollar General stores get the penny list um, generally on Fridays. So they've got that whole weekend, let's just say on the penny list um, last Friday, and this is, I'm just making up a, a an example to tell you. Let's just say I'm a Dollar General manager and I get the email from corporate that the items that are gonna be pennied um, are gonna be this horse, this Zabran's rice, and these baby slippers. That gives me Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to get those items off of the shelves. If I don't get those items off of the shelves, per the list, per corporate, or if I miss some, because that's generally what happens. I mean, you're going to have stores that that just blatantly don't get to the list for whatever reason, whether that's because they just don't do their jobs well, or because they were really busy, or the manager was sick, or they just didn't know. Um, but general, gen, generally, you'll have them pull the items, but just miss some because they've been misplaced, or they were hidden behind something, or they've fallen. Um, or they just really didn't know that those items were on the list. Okay, so it's Friday. I get my penny list. It's the horse, the rice, and the, the baby slippers. And let's just say I forget a few of them, or I was sick and my employees didn't know what they were supposed to be pulling, or we were busy, or whatever the reason is, and there's these items left on the shelves. Now, Tanya comes in Tuesday morning. This is when they actually penny through the system. I come in on Tuesday morning, I have my phone, I have my Dollar General app, and I'm gonna scan these tags, and I'm gonna use the list. I will provide you guys with the list of what has pennied. So that way you're not going in there and just blindly scanning things, not knowing what is what. And after you do this a couple of times, you're gonna know what, what's a penny and what isn't. Um, it just becomes easier and easier. Kind of like, I don't know if you guys have ever um, looked for morel mushrooms, but here in Iowa, we look for mor morel mushrooms and they're like really hard to find. You're walking out in the middle of the timber and they're just really hard to find until you find one and then you know what you're looking for and then you find another and then you find another and then it just becomes kind of like a muscle memory and they're easy to find at that point. It's kind of like that. So then I will go in 
on Tuesday morning and just look around the whole entire store. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind while you're penny shopping. Know the employees do not get in trouble if they sell penny items. Does it look good for them? No, because that means that they haven't done their job. But do they get in trouble? No. Are they supposed to sell you those penny items? Yes, you might come across some employees that um, are really butthurt about you finding the penny items because that just is like in their face, like, hey, I see you didn't do your job, now I'm gonna buy these things for a penny. Then corporate, their district managers and, and their higher ups are able to see that Joe Blow at the, at the Pennsylvania Dollar General didn't um, pull all of their penny items. What were they doing? How come they didn't get to it? Were they busy? Was he sick? You know, what was the deal? Anyways, they do not get in trouble for these penny items. It just doesn't look good for them, okay? So you're gonna have some employees that don't know anything about penny items. I've had that happen more, more often than not. And it, I mean, I think they kind of keep it to like managers and assistant managers, and I guess rightfully so. If I was running one of the stores, I wouldn't want every single employee in there to know that, hey, these items are gonna be a penny because I don't know, I just think that there would be people um, intentionally leaving them out so their family members or whatever could come find them. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think I probably uh, could see myself doing that because it's, I mean, this is hard times for everyone and everybody wants to save a dollar. So I could just see that happening. So I, they just don't tell all of them. I went through a line last week and had so much stuff. I had like 158 things. And, uh, this little, this little older lady that was working, she was so cute. She started ringing them up and kept looking at the, she kept looking at the, um, the thing. She's like, these are just ringing up a penny. And we're like, yep. <laughs> She's like, did you know they were a penny? And usually, usually I just kind of act dumb. Like, oh no, I was just buying all this stuff for Christmas presents, you know? Um, but we were like, yeah, we knew it was a penny. We're going to donate, um, all of these toys um to a christmas drive for our local families in need for christmas which was true there was a bunch of penny items it was when the, the toys pennied a couple weeks ago and so then at that point she thought it was just so cool she still was unaware that that was even a thing so who knows how long she worked there she had no idea that penny items were a thing and that's generally because the manager or the assistant manager pulls those items before they even sell so employees aren't going to see them coming through the through the checkout, you know, on a regular basis. It's just not a thing. So something that has happened, I've noticed in the last couple of weeks, that since there are so many people that now know about penny items, um, there's been a lot more people penny shopping. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, don't make a mess when you're penny shopping. I know a lot of Dollar Generals are really messy already, but that's to your advantage. I find that the messier the store, the more penny items I find. I mean, I find penny items that pennied weeks and weeks ago if the store is really messy because it's just hard for the manager to find the items to pull them. Um, but, but don't mess it up anymore. That was That's what I was getting at. Don't go in there and ransack the place, throw stuff around. Be decent. Go in there and be a decent person because I don't want to get a bad name or, you know, have them not like seeing me walk through the door because of a previous penny shopper, you know, destroying the store. So don't destroy the store. I also, if I find something that's out of place and it's like right in that area, I will just put it back, like kind of help them out a little bit because a lot of those stores you'll find are like understaffed, which is why we find the penny items mostly to begin with. And those managers are under a lot of stress, especially with the holidays. Our manager at our store, he's literally there every single day, all day long, from open to close. So just don't destroy the store. That's my second tip. Another thing, don't ask the employees. We've had people go in, where are the penny items? What items ring up as pennies? Can you show me where the, where the penny clearance items are? Or can you show me where the penny deals are? Listen, these are not deals. These are not clearance. This isn't some big savings. These are items that are not supposed to be on the shelf. So don't go in there and ask their form for them because first of all, some of them might not know about penny items to begin with. And if they do know, they're absolutely not gonna help you find them. They're just not. So when you get to the register, you might even encounter some 
cashiers saying, I can't sell you these items for a penny. Okay, so you can take that opportunity to tell them, yes, you do. Yes, you can. It is in your handbook. I have a copy of the handbook and I will um, put a copy of the, the policy in this video somewhere right after this clip um, for a couple of seconds so you can take a screenshot of it. Um, remind them of the policy. If they at that point say, no, I still can't sell you these penny items, then you need to ask them to have your district manager call you. They're not gonna give you the district manager's phone number, but they can have the district manager call you. Um, and again, this is, this is at your own discretion. If you feel like this horse piggy bank is worth fighting about for a penny, that's on you. But don't get out of line if you really run into an employee that is having a hard time um, selling you the item and it's, you know, sometimes you get really awesome big hauls that are, are like good, like blankets and clothes and toys for Christmas and whatever. But if it's just a couple of things and it's just a couple of pennies, hold on, I have a call coming in, then I wouldn't fight about it. I just wouldn't. But they do need to know that it is in their policy that they are required to sell you those penny items. Also, don't ever call corporate and complain, Susie at this Dollar General wouldn't sell me the penny items, okay? Because we don't want Dollar General to stop doing this penny stuff that they do because then we don't get to find the pennies. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be like a scavenger hunt. It is not supposed to be something that is angry and, and you know, not fun or bitter. I have fun every single time I went. This morning I went and got rice and some food items and I had fun, you know? And tonight we're gonna have tacos and stuff. We're gonna have, we're gonna have supper for a few pennies. Anyways, so don't call corporate and complain about the penny items because we don't want them to take away uh, the penny program altogether, you know what I mean? So those are my, those are my tips and tricks of what is penny shopping and how to penny shop. I will also include um, a list of things that you can look for that's kind of current. Sometimes, you guys, these slippers, for instance, these went on a penny list about four weeks ago, and I'm still finding them. I still found a pair of these slippers just yesterday in a store that I've gone into a thousand times in penny shop, and I'm still, I found um, this Finding Dory toy today, and this also is was on a list several weeks ago. So don't stop looking. Just don't stop looking. It's just supposed to be fun. Raylan! I'm gonna use Raylan's phone and that way I can show you guys what the app look like, looks like and how to scan items. Ashton! Will you tell Raylan to bring me her phone? Log into the Dollar General app, please. Anyways, um, so because I had so many questions instead of trying to answer everybody, because I posted some videos like on several platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. You have it pulled up? Okay. So, this is Raylan's phone. Oops. This little icon right down here. I hope they can see I'll it. Zoom in. Yes. Oh wait, you can't zoom you in. You can't zoom in. That DG icon, that's the app that you're gonna get. Right there, okay? And then when you open it, it's gonna look like this. And up in the top right hand corner up here, see right here, there's a barcode. Okay, Raylan, come over here and scan it for them. You're gonna press the barcode, and then based on the items that I show you on the lists, you're gonna scan those items. Here, put it in front of the camera, so they can see this here. You're gonna scan the barcode, and then it's gonna come up with the price, does it say at .01? Why is it so blurry? Worst there. video ever. Okay, so there's that one. Now press the barcode again and we'll scan this rice. Okay. It's all backwards for me. And there it is, there's a penny. So all of these items that I have pulled up here, now you can move your phone, um, have been on lists in previous weeks and I have found them. And it's fun, isn't it, Raylan? Raylan goes with me quite a bit. I got socks. Raylan got socks. Um, if you have any questions, put your questions in the comments below. I will answer you. 
Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. There are certain things that you're gonna look for. You'll see dots on the price tags, like this one has a yellow dot. This one has a white dot. And I will show you guys, um, I will put a card in here, take screenshots of all the things. Anything, anytime I show you a picture of something, um, take a screenshot of it so you have it for your reference. And I'm gonna give you kind of like the master list of what has pennied in the last few weeks so you can kind of look for those items. Okay, so I think I'm done. If there is anything that I haven't covered, any other questions that you have, um, put your questions in the comments. Make sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Every Tuesday morning, I will um, post with a new penny list. This happens every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, they have a new penny list. So it's fun, it just never stops. Um, and I also do couponing stuff. So every Saturday, I will post about my couponing hauls that I also get lots of stuff for super, super cheap. I'll show you my stockpile that I have and teach you how to do all of those things. But like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get um, notification every time I upload. And thank you for watching. Happy shopping!